So this is binary search and I'm going to explain it. So before going to the array part of it, let's go with a real life example. Let's say you have a four hour long clip, a 60 B clip, which is recording a bike right, in a parking lot. And in that four hour clip, the bike is going to get, get stolen, right? So let's say the bike got stolen at the timestamp of 3 hours and 50 minutes. So the worst thing that you can do is that sit for 4 hours and just watch the whole clip. And finally come at the conclusion that at 3 hours 40, sorry 50 uh, minute timestamp the bike got stolen. So you have to sit over there for 3 hours and 50 minutes, right? So the good thing. The good practice that you can do is that you skip so how do you skip is that first you go to the middle of it which is the two hours timestamp right you go over here oh the marker is not working okay so you have you are going to skip it right here in the middle of it which is that two hour timestamp right so you jump over here and you say is it the bike over there you're gonna see that the bike is still over there so you so there is no point to look at this clip right there's no point of looking back at this clip because there is the bike is still there so obviously the bike is also going to be here right so the next you search over here at this right so literally your uh video length got divided by two right and then you again divide it you skip to the middle of it which is a three hour timestamp and you say bike is still there so now you have the co conclusion that the bike got stolen at from three hour time st stamp to the four hours right again you skip it you come over here okay so this is not uh, mathematical accurate but let's see the half is over here and you say you come over the time step of 330 you say bike is still there so now you keep on dividing the uh, video length by half and you will end up the exact mo moment where the bike got stolen so this was the example right now let's see the how does the binary search work on array so the example that i just gave you the real life example i heard you somewhere and i thought i thought that it is a pretty cool example too and it should be included i don't remember who uh thought it all right so let's jump to the array part of it right so let's say we have an array so first thing that you should keep in mind that the binary search work on a sorted array Either it can be ascending order or it can be in descending order. So right now we have an array with ascending order. So these are all the indexes, indices, and these are the elements of an array. So what we have to do is that uh, we have to search for an element, and we have to keep in mind that we have to divide our searching space by uh, two every time, right? So there is going to be a while loop or whatever right there's going to be a loop all right so now let's just roughly do it let's say you are going to search an element which is 11 right you divide the length of an array by 2 and you say the element at the middle of the array and the element that you are looking for is it the element that you are looking for is greater than the middle the element which is in the middle of it so you want to say yes uh, 11 is greater than 9 i'm going to tell you how to find the mid i'm just taking an example so is it is right so now you're going to search over at this space there is no point of searching over here because the error is already sorted so we have to take benefit of that if it is a search, uh, sorted array right so we have to take benefit of it obviously the if the 
element or the key that you are looking for is greater than the middle of the array so we will search over here so literally our searching space guard divided by two so i think biologically binary means two right and here also what is happening is that the searching space is getting divided by two so again at this array we divided half by half so let's get in more details so we will have some pointers which will point towards some indexes so we have three variables so the first one is a start variable and the second one we have end variable and the third one is uh, the one which will point toward the mid so right now we don't know we don't know what is the mid so there is a so before jumping to the mid conclusion right we should uh, should have a uh, end condition of a loop so then if we will not have an end condition so it will be a, a infinite loop so we don't want that right so what we are going to do is that our loop is going to run uh, till the start until so our loop is going to run till our start is lesser than end right and uh, either it's less or uh, these both becomes equal this is the terminating condition of the loop all right let's so what does the start point towards the starting of an index for the first case the when our starting sorry when the searching space is this big for that the starting index will be zero and the end index will point towards the length of an a an array minus one which is six so right so now how we get the mid so we add the starting index and the end of the index and we sum it up right and we have and then we divide it by two so in this case we have six plus zero which is six and we divide it by two we get three so mid is going to point towards here all right now so like how do we get the answer so we do the we keep on dividing our searching space by half until the mid becomes the element that we are looking for that's it so if you look over here so there is this condition right here the first condition is the mid element the is the element at the mid is equals to the key that we are looking for right so then then just return it and there are other conditions that I will tell you, right? So let's say we are going to uh, search for an element which is 12. So I'm going to point it over here, right? So this is the element that we are looking for, right? So what we are going to do is that we are, for the first time, right? The start will point over zero and end will point to the index of six. And we don't know the uh, mid, so we find it out by sum, taking the sum and divided by two, so mid is over here. So it's gonna check so we check then so we check that the mid element is the key element that we are looking for so it's gonna say no it isn't right so what gonna happen is that so there are two more conditions if it's not the mid so what is then is it bigger than that or smaller than that if it is a bigger than the mid element right the element which is at the index of mid right this element is it uh, the key element is bigger than that if it is so we put our start over here why over here not over here because this is not satisfied right because mid is not it mid is not the element that we are looking so so we just put uh, the starting of the the start over mid plus one in the same condition with uh, with end we say if it's not the mid is it 
lesser than it we say yes it is so why don't we put the mid over here sorry and over here so now the element will be put it over here right that's it okay so for now we have this case right so we divide it up and we say it is in the mid so we put our start mid plus one over here we don't know the mid right, right now so now we want the mid so what we do is that we add this up we say 6 plus 12 sorry 6 plus 4 is 10 and we divide it by 2 we get 5 so this is here right so the condition we are going to check is that is the mid is equal to, is equal to key is the mid that we are uh, the currently pointing towards is it equals to the element that we are looking for we say yes it is so just we found the element so return the element which is point toward the mid okay so now let's take the another example so for this time we are looking for uh, right over here so first we find the mid how we do it we add it up and divide it by 2 so we get 3 right now we then we say uh, if it's not the mid so is it smaller than that or greater than that so it is smaller than that we put our end over here because we put it over uh, mid minus one right so we again we have to calculate the mid so right so then the mid will be this because two plus zero is uh, two and divided by one sorry divided by two we get one so mid is pointing over here right okay so now what will happen is that next time the loop will run because still the condition is satisfied right s is smaller than the e start index is smaller than the index right so then we are going to say if it is not the mid element right then is it lesser than that or that greater than that you say it is greater than that so we what we do is that we put our start mid plus one so mid this is mid plus one over here so still the condition is satisfied right because we have said that the starting index should be lesser than or equals to the to the end index so still it is satisfied as soon as this will go, go over here so the loop will uh, run so we will come out of the loop so right now it is satisfying the loop condition and now we calculate the mid so how we do it we say 2 plus 0 which is 2 sorry so and is uh, and is 2 right and is also 2 and start is also 2 so we add it up we have 4 divided by 2 we have 2 which is this index so we put the mid over here so then we check is it it is the one that we are looking for we say yes it is and we return it this is return the mid so we have taken one real life example and two examples from the array so now you know how binary search works